Now I say let them go up and negotiate it. This is the business of the Congress, and I'll, our people will stay in touch. I won't mislead them. If there's something that's so outrageous I can't accept it, I'll let them know it in the beginning so they don't waste their time. But we're flexible. I've already compromised. And I'm not saying I've, that I can't take a look at new proposals, but you've got to put together a majority in the Congress, and that's where the leaders are having great difficulty. Mr. Mr. President, just one follow-up, follow and then we'll come over here. That members of your own party dislike the deal so much. How could you and your advisors have misjudged the sentiments of members of your own party? Because it's easy when you have, don't have to be responsible for something. It's easy to get up and say, hey, I got an election in three weeks, and I'm going to stand up against this particular package, the Medicare, or the tax, or the home fee, uh, heating oil, or the fact there's not enough growth or not enough incentive. Uh, any individual member can do that, and maybe it plays well at home. The president and the leadership in both houses uh, have to be responsible for the overall good of the country, have to make something happen. I can't get it done just my way. I don't control both houses of Congress. I'd love to think that that luxury would come my way someday, but it hasn't, and therefore we've had to compromise.